Hello and welcome to Get to Know Science. This video is part one of two videos that cover aerobic and anaerobic respiration. So all living things need energy for the following reasons. The first is chemical reactions to build larger molecules. So for example, the chemical reaction to produce proteins from amino acids, that's called protein synthesis. Another example would be building new cells for growth or replacing dead cells. All of these processes require energy. The second reason is movement. All muscular contractions require energy and we'll look at the effect of exercise on the body in part two in the next video. The third thing is keeping warm, maintaining a constant body temperature. That requires energy and we get our energy from our food and the way we release the energy from our food is called respiration and this is aerobic respiration which means using oxygen so the glucose here comes from our food after our food is digested the blood will transport glucose to our cells for respiration the oxygen is what we breathe in and again the blood will deliver the oxygen to our cells for respiration they will react together and produce carbon dioxide and water and also energy and this reaction will take place in the mitochondria in almost all of our cells we have mitochondria which is a type of organelle in our cells and plants have them too and this is where respiration takes place and we can represent this reaction using the chemical symbols so C6H12O6 is glucose reacting with O2 oxygen gives us carbon dioxide CO2 and water H2O and energy now energy is is not a chemical but we're adding it onto the end of this equation to show that it's being produced and in fact that makes this reaction an exothermic reaction because it's giving out energy it releases energy so it's exothermic in nature now the next thing is what happens if our blood is unable to supply enough oxygen well then what we do is anaerobic respiration so anaerobic respiration means without oxygen so you can divide this word into two the first bit means without and the second bit refers to the oxygen aerobic so anaerobic respiration means respiration without oxygen so if the blood is unable to supply enough oxygen to the cells for aerobic respiration then our cells will still respire but they will do it anaerobically and this often happens during exercise. The cell will produce energy from glucose alone. And the byproduct is lactic acid. And there are two problems with this type of respiration. The first problem is it produces less energy than aerobic respiration. So if you're exercising, your performance will suffer. And secondly, it produces lactic acid, which if it builds up, causes a burning sensation in your muscles, which means that anaerobic respiration is not sustainable for long periods of time. Now in plants and in yeast, it's slightly different. Anaerobic respiration happens like this in yeast cells. So here's an example. This is just a microscope image of yeast cells here and in yeast cells the glucose is turned into ethanol and carbon dioxide so ethanol is an alcohol and and then it also produces carbon dioxide and this is called fermentation and fermentation allows us to manufacture things like bread and like alcohol so it's actually quite useful Okay, so join me in part two where we will look at exercise and oxygen debt as it's related to respiration. And as always, thanks for watching and make sure you like, comment and subscribe.